A Galaxy S24 may stop sending texts due to messaging app issues, incorrect network settings, or SIM card and network provider problems. If you have this problem, here's what you should do to fix it. The first thing you have to check is the signal indicator at the top right corner of the screen. Doing so will tell you immediately if it's just a signal related problem or not. If you only have two bars of signal or less, then it's probably a reception issue. Just move to an area where there is a good reception and then try sending a text message. However, if your phone shows that it's getting a good reception but still not able to send an SMS, then try restarting your phone. This process can potentially resolve issues with sending text messages by resetting the system and clearing any temporary software glitches. To do it, press and hold the volume down and power buttons until the power menu shows. Then tap restart and confirm you want to reboot the phone. After the reboot, try sending a text message to see if the problem is fixed. If still not, then try clearing the cache and data of the messaging app you're using. This can fix issues with sending text messages by removing outdated or corrupt files and freeing up storage space. To do it, tap and hold the messages icon until the menu shows, then tap the small app info icon. Scroll down a bit and tap storage. On the next screen, tap clear cache. Then tap clear data and tap delete to confirm it. After doing that, try to send a text message. If the problem persists, then you have to reset the mobile network settings. This fixes the problem by forcing the phone to reconnect to networks as if it's the first time, thereby clearing up any underlying problems that may be preventing optimal performance. Here's how you do it. Open settings and scroll all the way down and then tap general management. Tap reset and select reset mobile network settings. Tap reset settings and confirm it by tapping reset at the bottom of the screen. Once finished, try to see if the problem is fixed, because if still not, then it's time to call your carrier as it can be a problem with the network or an account related issue. We hope this troubleshooting guide can help you. Thanks for watching.